official hardcore servers are going live, we're going to need some add-ons. There's going to be some add-ons that you need for classic hardcore WoW. And we're about to get into which ones you want to download in this short video here. Which add-ons are must-haves for classic WoW hardcore? Well, you're about to find out. Number one, questy. So you're too lazy to read the quest text, Oh, yeah, huh? I'm done. You I'm downloading this for sure. You probably haven't even read anything since high school, huh, you lazy bum? This is the voiceover. Oh, well, don't worry, because me too. Uh, add on. Look, reading quest text to learn where to go kind of sucks sometimes, unless you're doing a slow roleplay immersion run or something. The point is, Questy. Questy is an add-on that will show you where to go for quests on your map, and it's great for finding oh, this those is the hidden voiceover quests one? This in the is open a map world one. that you might have missed. The only thing is that Questy this is, this is not quest a leveling guide add-on, so don't get confused. It's not going to tell you to do things in a particular order, but rather just point to what's the nearest quest that you can do. Now, if you are looking for WoW's ultimate guide add-on for classic or retail, you can check out Zygor, this channel's sponsor, uh, linked down below in the description. Number two, voiceover. Real okay, so you hate reading. We established that, but you True. still want to know why in the world are you collecting bear asses a mile outside of Astrodar and Ashenvale? Is it for a potion? A spell to summon no, an ass-sniffing demon? Kink. This is where the add-on voiceover AI voiceover. This is the one play. I was talking about. This yeah. recent gem to the WoW Classic scene takes all the quests in the game and yeah, creates I will link this AI video generated Discord. voice acting for all the quest givers. This means that when you pick up a quest, you can listen to the quest giver, you know, speak to you and read out the entire quest text. Just give it a listen. It's really cool. Your first task is one of cleansing, adventurer. This is a badass. I like this add-on. Infested the woods to the north. Go there and fight the kobold vermin you find. Reduce their numbers so that we may one day drive them from Northshire. Number three, no, sure. Bagnon. Are you tired of carrying yeah, I got around Bagnon. those tiny sacks of yours? Wouldn't you rather just have Mostly one for searchability big sack too. of Duratar nuts that you're dragging across Azeroth? This is Bagnon, my friends. An yeah, I'll be downloading that turns Bagnon. all your bags into a single, giant, big, Beautiful. sweaty sack that you can play with whenever you want. Use Bagnon to easily sort what's in your sack and use its search function to locate your Duratar nuts <laughs> even easier. It's the perfect add-on for managing and playing with your sack. What can I say? Number four, you deadly boss mods. Look guys, I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, if you don't got this add-on, the thing that tells you boss mechanics for dungeons and raids, warning you when things are about to happen now whatever. remember if classic's gonna have a 24 hour timer on dungeons i don't know how what, how often i'm gonna do dungeons when i'm playing classic hardcore but if you do decide to do them uh on the alliance side probably dead mines would be the first one and there's a 24 hour timer on it so you can only do it once every 24 hours this add-on certainly you're not you need gonna DBM. be reading dbm is one yeah. of those you better have it sort yeah, of add-ons especially if you're planning on delving into molten core because how else are you going to know to just spam Frostbolt as a mage on Ragnaros unless the add-on tells you to do it? The okay. point is, get deadly okay. boss mods. You're gonna need it. At Shop, some point. Shots fired Definitely. at mages. Number five, classic threat meter. Speaking of dungeons, you know all those times you thought you were a badass warlock doing so much DPS and then suddenly all the mobs in Scarlet Monastery run after you, the group panics, you die, the Scarlets kill your healer, it's a oh, giant no. wipe. Oh, no. Was the DPS really worth the threat that you were generating, my friend? Was it? Look, everybody needs classic threat meter to tell them where they are at when it comes to threat on pulls. Yeah. That way you always know. Man, I forgot. Oh my God. I used to have right. a threat meter. I always had classic threat meter. Well, it wasn't classic at the time. It was retail. But I remember I had a threat meter all the way through BC. There was a time in this game where generating threat and holding threat was really challenging. Not really anymore. Um, but back in BC, man, you could easily pull a, a raid boss if you just acted stupid in the beginning of a pull. So uh, I remember having this, man, it's going to be a throwback. I haven't had a threat meter since probably BC. Someone is about to steal your aggro and you need to taunt yet again. This is a must-have add-on. Number six, Atlas Loot. This is the add-on that you get to make your mouth water with anticipation oh, yeah. for what's to come. Oh, there's with not going to be a loot journal. I forgot. Dungeons, That's right. World bosses, raid encounters, whatever, and this see loot what journal. loot is going to drop. You can even see profession gear with this add-on. Atlas Man. Loot is the ultimate I forgot a lot of these things on a to... stick sort of experience. A lot of these quality of life changes in retail don't exist in classic. Man, it's been a long time. Experience add-on. 
always taunting you with the gear that you maybe might get the gear in your that I'll next never Wailing get. Caverns run. And then you don't get it and you're sad, but whatever. Number seven, gather mate. Do you just love yeah, mining, okay. herbalism, or finding fishing holes? But then, after locating them, you never remember where the heck they were when you go out for another run across Tira's Fall to mine copper ore to get that big-ass axe that you can get at, like, 50-something mining. You know what I'm talking about. Well, what Gathermate does is as you find resources out in the open world, like mining nodes or herbs, it okay. will add a little icon onto oh, your map showing marks you it. where you can find that node again. This add-on is fantastic because it allows you to plan out your entire resource gathering route, and it doesn't immediately show you where all the nodes are at either. You need to actually uh, okay. find them, so and then they're cheating. added to your map. It feels like like exploration and discovery, or it has that feel to it. And sure, I like I'll that. add it. I'll add Number it. Number eight, fine. bestiary. I'm probably going to do herbalism. Most likely, yeah, I'm going to do herbalism alchemy on my mage. That's, that's my plan. Number eight. Bestiary. One bestiary. of the unexpected things that's going to kill you in hardcore bestiary. is when you're off fighting some raptor in the middle of the jungle somewhere, and suddenly this raptor uses an ability where it pulls out an AK-47 and oh, turns fuck, your character into a pile of red mashed potatoes. Oh, shit. That's why Bestiary <laughs> is a must-have add-on, because it shows you what abilities all the mobs in the world have. Oh. That way you're not surprised by anything when you're out questing and gathering those raptor oh, okay. asses. That's not Number bad. nine, I'll hardcore. Most of you are not going to need this add-on. I'm just going to say that straight up front because Blizzard's version of hardcore is not going to require any sort of accountability add-on. However, one thing that Blizzard hardcore does not have that the hardcore add-on does the have call out. is achievements and leaderboards. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong, but the hardcore add-on should still work on the official Blizzard realms, allowing it does. players to undertake bigger challenges on their path to level 60. Choose the achievement to be a hunter who levels up without a pet, go oh, to level geez. 60 completely naked, oh, no. or even the hardest achievement of them all to earn on the Hardcore Challenge website. Every 30 minutes or so, stand up and do a few jumping jacks to keep the blood flowing in your blood clot filled legs. <laughs> if you're interested in adding even more- I really want this add on for the uh, for the death call out because official servers will not be calling out deaths uh, for everybody on the server like uh, all the time. They only call out deaths in little chat box if you're in a guild together. Otherwise, you will not see death call outs. So I kind of want to download the hardcore add on just so I can get the, you know, the big alert that pops up. It'll probably be spammy as shit when servers first go live, but I, I don't know. I like seeing the death call outs. Challenge to your hardcore runs and ending Especially up on if the you leaderboard might know website for hardcore who just died. You might want to get this add on. And number 10, vendor price. By what? the way, not only will um, in game. Blizzard has integrated the callout for guild deaths. It'll also call out the mob that killed your guildie and the location of that mob. So you can go avenge their death, which is pretty cool. Last but not least, we have this add on. Who here loves money? Raise your hand. Say, yeah, give me them green dollars, yeah, yeah. daddy, oh, yeah. in the comments section. Don't actually do that. Look, in classic WoW, you kill a black rock orc. He drops his flea-filled loincloth, <laughs> and you carry this thing around in your inventory for the next time. half hour, wondering what on earth this trash is going to sell for. Turns out a lot, you oh, find out. When you, you discover okay. that the vendor, for some reason, has a particular thing for used orc loincloths, this thing will sell for one gold each. What vendor price does as an add-on is it removes this surprise. It will tell oh, it you tells immediately you. Okay. how yeah, much an item is worth if you sell it to a vendor. And so now you'll know when you get a full inventory what is worth throwing out and deleting and what is worth keeping for maximum profit. And that's pretty much it, guys. Those are 10 quick add-ons off the top of my head. If you guys nice. have any other suggestions, leave them in the comments section below. Go out and enjoy Classic WoW Hardcore, everybody. And if you want to watch Excited. my journey to level 60 in Hardcore, if you're ready, check out episode one of the Hardcore Adventure series, uh, which is on yeah. your screen right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, so um, if you don't have the Curse client to download add-ons, go get it. I mean, that's what I use. I use Curse. Uh, the Curse Forge or whatever the fuck it's called, yeah, to download my add-ons, and uh, it's the best way to do it. It's the best way to do it. I have it. I have it right here. Just download your add-ons. You got to go to Classic and do your shit. Get it right. Get it tight. And uh, I like this list. A lot of some of this stuff's optional.
for one, the hardcore add-on I think is a, it, it's it's a good one to have, but you don't have to have it. All that shit's going to be already integrated in the official servers. Um, but I want it mainly for death callouts. I think it's going to be cool. I also use WoW up because it can update LVUI. Oh, okay, okay. Well, LVUI I won't be using for for classic. I'm going to keep it classic, right? I'm going to keep it keep it vanilla. But uh, great video, good add-ons, and uh, I'm going to be downloading all the ones he mentioned here. <laughs>